Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and this is yet another video review. Today I will be looking at the Dynatron a Copper Heatsink. So this is the uh, product. This is the model number on this one is the DY1206BH-638 and the CFM on this is around 44-45 CFM. It's a 7000 RPM fan. This, of course, is a copper heatsink, and the base here, as you can see, is 100% pure copper. And as you can see as well, this is very reflective. So it's a very smooth, great service to make a contact with your CPU. The design on the clip is meant to go into three of the mounts on your socket and your motherboard on each side so you'll have definitely great contact by using this design now the only questionable thing about this is the design of having to use a screwdriver or some device to get this thing on if I go a little closer here you can see that this is a little hard to get a screwdriver into so what I have done is I have designed a device to go in here and so, so it's easy to basically install or remove this heatsink. I'll show you what I came up with and this is the device which I actually created to install and remove this type of clip design now this of course is a knife this is just a butter knife and what I have done here of course is use my Dremel tool you can use any kind of cutting tool for this and uh, cut off the top of it to fit into here quite easily as you can see and you can by using this push down with excessive force and it will not slip due to the design and how it does go in. Going back to the heat sink again, the noise levels on this, of course, when you have a 7000 plus RPM fan, and uh, this one's a little different than normal uh, fans in the sense that it's a little higher. I'll show you a uh, normal profile of uh, a normal 7000 RPM fan now. As you can see here, it's uh, quite a bit taller than the regular 7000 RPM fans and the decibel level on this is quite high you're looking at uh, 50 DB that is extremely loud however this is not meant to be quiet this is meant to do a fantastic job at cooling I'll go over some of the results a little bit later what I'll do next is I'll compare uh, this, the loudness of this compared to a, a 4500 RPM fan. Okay, I've got uh, actually three fans here. I've got a 4500. This is a Vantec uh, low profile, the new one from Vantec. This is a 6000 RPM. Of course, you have your, your big one here, the uh, 7000. I'll plug the 7000 in first, and we'll just go through them. That's a 7,000. Now go on to the 6,000. And now we'll go on to the 7,000. The, sorry, the 4,500. Let's now go back to the 7,000. And as you can hear, it is quite loud. 
you're looking at 50 dB. The, again, the CFM on this is 45. So it is certainly very loud, but it does get the job done very well. Very good temperatures. Uh, due to the clip design mounting it very firmly into the socket on top of the CPU. Also the base of course is 100% copper. Also has 36 fins. As for the results as you can imagine it, they are quite quite good with a very very powerful fan on top of a pure copper base with a lot of fins uh, certainly is going to yield some fantastic results. Uh, I'm using a 1.2 at 1.4 gigahertz. This is an AMD T-Bird CPU at 1.85 volts in the BIOS. I'm also using Arctic Silver 2. The results I got at idle are 38 at max load 43 so again, some fantastic results keeping this CPU at fairly high voltages, very cool. Overall, an excellent product. I give this product a 9.5 out of 10. Some fantastic cooling results, 38C at idle, uh, 43C at max CPU load. The only thing that I did not like about this particular cooler is the clip design. The clip design in one way is fantastic, in another way it's not so great. The good way, of course, is it does secure this cooler really well to your motherboard, and certainly that is very important. You do not want a cooler to be slipping off, and of course, if it does, we all know what's going to happen. You're going to have no CPU left. So that's certainly a very positive thing. However, the thing that I don't like about this is the screwdriver design. And what I'm referring to there, of course, is you need a screwdriver or some other kind of engineered device to get this cooler on and off. So that is something I don't like. I would rather have a design that would be easy. You can use your thumb or your finger to push a cooler on and off uh, when you want to very easily. And let's face it, if you're using a steel product or even a plastic product that's hard, getting this thing on and off, if you slip, you're going to damage your motherboard. There's no question about it. Aside from that, though, this is a fantastic product. As I mentioned before, some excellent results. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back in four days. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, check out my website at www.3dgameman.com. While you're there, check out our forums. Until the next time, take care.